The 2016 NFL season was a hard one for millions of fans to digest. All-time greats Peyton Manning, Calvin Johnson, and Marshawn Lynch retired as three of the biggest superstars in their respective positions. No doubt all three of them should be Canton-bound. As everyone knows, father time is undefeated. Nobody plays forever, and you often forget about that because you're caught up in the moment of watching your favorite stars play. Well, we hate to be depressing at all, but a number of future first ballot Hall of Famers will be retiring within the next few seasons. I'm Justin Fraction, and here is our list of the top 10 NFL players who will retire soon. And a big shout out to Sam Hamner for suggesting this video. Don't forget to leave us your ideas in the comments section. Number 10. Dwight Freeney It seems like just yesterday when Freeney was bulldozing his way through offensive lines consistently with the Indianapolis Colts. The Super Bowl 41 champion reached seven Pro Bowls with the Colts and has seven seasons of recording double-digit sacks. But Freeney, at age 36, is on his last legs with the Atlanta Falcons. He's no longer the terrorizing pass rusher he once was and is more valued today for his leadership. Don't be surprised if he hangs him up in 2017. Number 9. Robert Mathis what would one half of the Colts' dominant pass-rushing duo be without the other? Mathis and Freeney have been iconic members of the Colts' franchise, but soon we'll see these two legends retire. Though Freeney was the bigger household name during the years these two spent in Indy together, Mathis wasn't far off. He won Super Bowl XLI, reached six Pro Bowls, and has five seasons of double-digit sacks, including a ridiculous 19.5 in 2013. But Mathis missed all of 2014 and saw a drop-off in 2015. Give him two more years, Max, and then he'll retire, pleasing 31 NFL quarterbacks. Number 8. Anquan Bolden Very few NFL receivers can keep playing at the age of 36, especially with the incredibly physical style that Bolden plays. The three-time Pro Bowler was considering retirement after leading the Baltimore Ravens to a Super Bowl forty-seven championship four seasons ago, but he keeps putting up solid wide receiver two numbers. We expect Bolden to retire after 2016, he has a Super Bowl and nothing else to prove at this point. Number 7. Terrence Newman 38 years old, still playing at cornerback. Newman no doubt has proven his case as one of the greatest lockdown corners in NFL history. The two-time Pro Bowler was a standout on the Dallas Cowboys defense, but he played in an era where plenty of elite corners existed, so it was hard for him to stand out. Now people are recognizing him more thanks to his longevity, but we fully think Newman's going to retire for good after 2016. He's lost his speed and won't be able to keep up much longer. Number 6. Andre Johnson Undoubtedly one of the greatest wide receivers of all time, the 6'3 monster will go down as the greatest Houston Texan of all time not named J.J. Watt. Seven Pro Bowls, a two-time NFL receiving yards leader, and one megastar. Johnson has posted seven seasons of over 1,000 receiving yards, and this is with Matt Schaub as his best quarterback to play with during his years in Houston. At 35, Johnson is using up that last bit of gas in his tank with the Tennessee Titans. Teams know his skills have diminished significantly, so don't expect more than a year after 2016. Number 5. Jamal Charles The majority of NFL running backs don't play into their 30s, and when they do, they rarely produce like number one backs. Charles has torn his ACL twice since 2011, is nearing his 30th birthday, and the Kansas City Chiefs have legitimate running backs in Sharkandrick West and Spencer Ware. All the pieces are lined up for Charles to leave soon. There are many quality running backs in the NFL, and Charles' age and injury history are catching up with him. Hard to imagine him out playing West and Ware down the stretch, and don't expect him to find a starting gig beyond 2017. He'll be 31 by then. Number 4. Steve Smith Sr. The 37-year-old planned to retire after the 2015 season, but a torn Achilles ended his campaign, and Smith refused to go out like that, so you know 2016 is his last. Smith has eight seasons of 1,000-plus yards in his career and will push for 15,000 career receiving yards and 80 touchdown receptions in his swan song season. At just 5'9", Smith has been one tough cookie who has wanted it more than anybody else. Let's hope he finishes his career on a strong note. Number 3. Julius Peppers He's 36 years old, but he keeps finding new ways to produce like he's 15 years younger. Peppers made his ninth Pro Bowl last year and the 2004 NFL Defensive Player of the Year has everything he needs except that one Super Bowl. Peppers is pushing for 150 career sacks, and the member of the 2000s All-Decades team knows he's running out of time and energy. In fact, a Packers Super Bowl victory could be all it takes to convince him to retire after this season. You never know. Number 2. Antonio Gates If it weren't for Tony Gonzalez in the first half of his career or Rob Gronkowski during the second half of his career, Gates would gain plenty more recognition as the greatest tight end to ever live. 
Stats don't lie for the eight-time Pro Bowler. Over 10,000 receiving yards and over 100 touchdown receptions, he's the San Diego Chargers' all-time leader in catches, receiving yards, and touchdowns. Gates is now 36 and has seen better days. We find it hard to believe he'll play past age 37, so give him two more years max. And number one, Tom Brady. This would be a surprise to many, especially the man who believes he can play past age 45. So hear us out. The Patriots now know they have Jimmy Garoppolo, who will be a great successor to Brady. Tommy Terrific is 39 years old. Just look at how 41-year-old Brett Favre and 39-year-old Peyton Manning fared in their final seasons. Not quite well. Brady has to slow down and the hits are going to take a toll on him. Furthermore, the guy has absolutely nothing left to prove. Once father time shows, it's Garoppolo's time in New England. Based on the history of most quarterbacks, Brady likely won't make it past age 41. But hey, whenever he retires, it's been a heck of a ride. Which NFL superstar do you think retires first? Join us in the comments below. If you liked this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps us out a ton and we appreciate it. This is your first time coming around to Total Pro Sports though. Subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.